Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Matchstick Monday, where I work on my Matchstick house. So this week, I, have, I still haven't decided on what I'm going to be building, but I have a few more things I want to do to this staircase. I've got a nice rug I'm going to run down the middle. So I've got this one cut just to, to where it kind of stops the hole, but it's going to dangle down inside of it. Okay, so I've got this all glued in, and then I did some uh, some wear and tear on it. You can see the corners there. The lighting kind of sucks. I've got the rug down, and I put a little section up here. This one's still kind of drying. And this one, it's set overnight. <clears throat> I really got, with that emery board, I got a lot of holes and nicks into it. And I wore it down, and then when I, I put the water on there, darkened it up, it kind of hid those holes a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do next is I want to build the, uh, the little pantry closet or whatever. I've got a pretty good section of this wall finished and it's got a nice I really like building these as separate individual pieces that kind of click together and are keyed. So for this this uh, section here I'm going to be building a window and I've showed how to build windows before I've got a video on it <clears throat> and I show how I take the, the scalpel and I cut a V in it and uh, scrape it out and do all this stuff so I can put a plastic in there for the glass but I've got some woodworking tools now and I've got this nice V cut one and it makes it so much easier and faster to cut these grooves out that uh, I'm really glad I have this tool alright so I got this window finished up and I'm cutting these last uh, these pieces here you can see I've notched both of them so they kind of uh, when they're put on here they clasp the window Probably I'll only probably only do this for the the bottom section and the top section of where the uh, the, the window is, and that's gonna kind of hold it in place a little bit more. It'll be a little bit more sturdy. I also did it on this side. It's gonna add again some more uh, gluing connections. When I put a window in, I try and make it to where I can cut the matches to form fit around it. I've also done it on. This one, let's see if you can see it. That top match above it is cut to fit around it. That allows me to make the window whatever size I want. If I want to make it skinnier, if it's going to come to a halfway point between matches, I, I can still put it in there and uh, I try to cut around it. Okay, I've started working on the little slanted roof here. I never did burn any matches. Uh, it's significantly later in the night, but... Uh, my dad's sick so I had to take him to the doctor he's got some virus so he works at a hospital so it's it's kinda common for him to, to get sick and I kinda of, kinda of like how it's working it's gonna allow me to attach it to the uh, the back wall and I want it kinda kinda sloped off the the edge so it'll have a little overhang and then I'm thinking about adding shingles just like up there I just got back from the movies from seeing uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 and the new Kevin Hart movie, uh, Ride Along, I think. Yeah, I think it's Ride Along. It's pretty funny. I liked it. But uh, this is... I got some shelving uh, bars up that I'm going to connect my shelving to. And then uh, the roof. And then tomorrow I'm going to build the shelves and shingle this and paint it all up and that but that's all I'm gonna do today I'm gonna go to bed it's pretty late it's 11:44, and I am tired in just the last few minutes of putting on these shelves this this room really goes from being what was kind of just a plain kind of eh add-on makes it something you wanna kinda of look at and and digest and it tells its own kind of story so now I'm gonna build another set of shelving units on the on the left side of the wall here and I want them to be long because the wall is long but also I want them to be kind of skinny because that contrasts well against the thick short shelves over here as well as I don't really want the room to feel I want it to feel a little bit larger and by doing that I'll, I can make long skinny shelves I've started work on a little shelf uh, cabinet kind of thing and I'm gonna put it 
up here in the corner because there's a lot of negative space that I want to get rid of. And then opposite here I'll do a little tiny shelf to kind of counterbalance that. But it's going to hang on the wall sideways here and as you can see it's got a little tiny shelf in there. And I made some doors that I've taken, I've cut a match down to size and then I just took and I'm splitting them following the grain kind of this way and then I'm trying to, to shave them down all to the same the same width and then I just glued them together like I, I would normal matches from side to side and then I laid uh, strips of matches which is just another panel that I cut in half and these on this one are gonna go sit in here and I'm hoping because I want it to be open I'm hoping that the three points that it's connected to the back here and then the top and bottom of this match will be enough to, to kind of support it and allow me to leave it open whereas this one is going to be closed and as you can see here it's it's kind of taken away what happened was on this second match when I shaved it down I got it too thin on one end and it left it looking like that and I kind of got upset and I was like I'm gonna have to do another one but then I, I kind of looked at it and it looked like it had been rotted away maybe bugs had eaten it so I carried that across with these other two which I didn't do too good of a natural kind of look I finished the construction of the little cabinet and a lot like the shelf over here I've decided to change its its placement and I put this small shelf that was originally gonna go over here on this side and the reason for that is I just think it looks more aesthetically pleasing here and as you can see the the light coming through the window uh, well one the, sh the, uh, the door that's open kinda blocks your view of that window and I put the window there uh, for a purpose I kinda want people to be able to see it so this being here leaves the window the viewable from from the inside and I kind of just, I, I picture being able to look in this room and see moonlight fall across this kind of destroyed uh, bug-eaten cabinet and I just think that's a, that's a nice image. I decided after painting this that uh, with all the shelves in here and how dark this is you lose a lot of the detail, you can't really tell the shelves are there that much so I decided to go ahead and wallpaper this which I should have thought about in the first place but I didn't. Alright, I've got everything painted up. I got the wallpaper on there. I got the, everything back on there. I've painted the, the little uh, cabinet thing. I've got three little bottles in there. Probably spice jars, something like that. I don't know. But they're in there, so there's uh, so there's stuff in the shelf. And then to give kind of uh, some stuff on the, on the shelf outside the cabinet, I've taken and I cut the uh, the metal bit off the eraser of a pencil. I just sawed it off right where the pencil was at. And that's what I got this little pin pushed into so I can paint it. And I've taken some black acrylic paint, the big twos. I'm always using this. I'm always using this for the, the rest of the house. Sorry about my voice. I think I'm getting sick. I think I caught whatever my dad has. Anyway, I'm taking that <clears throat> and I put it on here and I, I watered it down and kind of took my paintbrush and kind of scraped it down so it picked up the ridges. So you can kind of get the details. And this is going to be kind of like a, a metal coffee can. It's roughly, it's about 8 inches uh, in scale. So that's about, I don't know, around a coffee coffee can. We didn't have any around the house. We just have those new plastic ones we have going on. But uh, I'm going to leave the pencil in there so it's got something to help uh, me glue it to the shelving. And then I'm going to paint some uh, some rust and stuff on here. I've got the coffee can in place now and I think it looks rather good. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're painting rust, I think I have a video that kind of talks about painting rust. It's a very, very early one around uh, my first matchstick house. I did a tin roof. I'm not sure if it's on there or not. <clears throat> but there's this one and then the other part of the, the eraser I've got down here. And it's more of a, a soup can size but kind of cut in half. And then all I did was I took the section I cut off here and I used a file. I used a file to get one end of it open and then kind of coiled itself inside of itself. Wrapped it up to get a smaller circumference. And then packed that with 
uh, a paper towel and then painted it uh, black that gave me something to to for the glue to adhere to a little more readily than just the edge of the the, the metal plus it gives it a kind of a like it's got a lid on there or maybe the contents inside uh, molded another thing I've made here is like a little box and what I did to make this is I just cut two matches down the size and I wrapped it with cardboard around and I glued it on there and then I glued I cut a little square and then kind of stuck it on there and glued it on top and bent it in a little bit so there was a gap and it also made it to where it set on there uh, properly with the rest of the edges I painted it orange and then I took uh, once that was dried I put a, a, a black line around it and while that was wet I dabbed it with my thumb which pulled a lot of the black off and it left some of the, the edges around which gives it a nice kind of graphic look as well as an aged look so I think I pretty much have the room completed um, for tonight I've got two tin cans we got the big one the coffee can here a smaller one over there then we have three boxes uh, they bounce around the room as they go down this one's uh, fully intact this one's smushed on the bottom and then when this one on the ground is flattened with some uh, moldy contents coming out and then we have uh, one solid mason jar there it's got contents in it you can't really see because I painted some brown on the outside to make the jar look kind of muddy then we have a broken one here with some uh, glass there on the shelf and then another piece on the, the floor we have uh, I think two pieces of glass here maybe that's three I can't really tell and then another pile of glass right there and then we have three uh, miscellaneous jars inside the cabinet we also have some like splatters on the on the window So tomorrow, I plan on, we got the roof painted, I plan on uh, putting shingles on this tomorrow. And that's, uh, that's it for tonight. I'm going to bed. Hey everybody. This is, this is all I'm going to get done this week. Uh, Thursday I had to go to the ER, and I guess I'm, got some kind of virus. But I've been in bed the last four days or so, since today's Monday at like 5 in the morning but I'm on a bunch of medicine and I don't feel too well so I'm gonna try editing this video and I don't know if I'll if I'll get to work on this much this week so I don't I don't know how big next next week's match uh, matchstick Monday is gonna be either so uh, I hope you liked it and uh, I hope you guys have a good week I'll uh, hopefully get to talk to you next Monday Bye.